Within this video, we will take you through how a practice assessor links the student to the My Progress ePad. As a practice assessor, when you first access the ePad, you will actually be accessing it through the student's account. When you are with your student, who has been allocated to you, they will need to log into their ePad account. And from there, they will ask you to complete the practice assessor allocation form. When the student logs into their account, you will be viewing their dashboard. The student will then navigate to the Start Documentation section. And select the Practice Assessor Allocation form. The student will select the Complete New button. On the form screen, you will read through and complete the form on their account to confirm you will act as the Practice Assessor for the student on the placement. Type in your full name and work email address, and then click the Submit button. Once you have submitted the form, as a practice assessor, you will receive an email to confirm you have completed this form. The email will also provide you a link to set up your password. Completing this setup process will provide you access to your account. The student you complete the form for will then be linked to you. And you will then be able to view the student's ePad through your own account. And in the future, when you complete the practice assessor form for any students using their ePad account, you will also be linked to that student. Once you have completed the sign up process, you will be able to access your ePad account. On the sign in screen, click the sign in button. The ePad provides separate sign in options. The university button can be used by students who use single sign on credentials. As a practice staff member, you will use the sign-in name and password fields below. Your sign-in name will be the email address used to create your account. Type in your details and then select the sign-in button. When you sign in, you will be presented with a summary dashboard for all of the students assigned to you. This dashboard presents a summary of progress for each student. And to access the student's ePad, simply select their name from the table provided. When you are ready to sign out, select the Sign Out button at the top right of the screen.